okay, 2009 uh, BMW X5. Um, we have a footwell module to be programmed. Let me see if we can do it with this one. change the the, the, the the footwell module you have to program it if you don't code it it will not work good so let me go continue okay this is the e70 in progress if you notice here if you if you push this window switch this window is supposed to go up and down but look here when i push it the other window go up and down so and when you push this one here is for the right side window this one work mm -hmm. if you don't code it it will not you see okay so let's communicate with it if we will be able to program it because it's not well adjusted okay now in progress determine update please wait this may take several minutes but we're gonna wait a little bit good about it is you can do it individually also you have a problem with the light sometimes programming cause only if compulsory model failure okay Good, so now we're gonna go to programming and coding. Do you need to code? I'm not gonna do it complete car, I'm just gonna go in one. Now you're gonna read for me which one you wanna do it. Junction box, advanced crash, airbag, no. Engine control module, no. Electronic transmission, no. Transfer case, no. Tire pressure, no. Dynamic parking, ELV, no. I'm gonna go to the next page. I just wanna get mine. If you see airbag, let me know. Satellite radio, function sunroof, car accessory, amplifier, no. You, you see your car is full of programming and computers. Seat module passenger, seat module driver, control controller, parking, gateway, instrument cluster. There's a lot. Footwell module, that's what you change, right? Yeah, the footwell module. Footwell module. Footwell. Yeah, all we need our foot to be well. So it's gonna be FRM. I just, he already programmed it, so we're gonna go through activation coding. Now we code it. Mm -hmm. 
before you don't know where he's belong. You give him right, you give you left. You give him left, you give you right. Take some time, but we're gonna wait. supposed to go through in a few how long before you you change it i changed it in over two years three years you never over called two, it i never called it oh my, that's why you delay like this maybe in two years you don't and you keep opening windows left or right mm -hmm. right and left your wife tell you open the put the window down and you put the other window down right or the family says that left and say right yeah? don't add don't add don't add nothing mommy okay now i, I say nothing <laughs> Coding control unit, okay. Let's go. I almost give up. It take long. So it's a coding complete. Okay. Turn the key off. last time if you push this switch the passenger side switch work actually this for the driver side but when you push this one it was the passenger side that working so now let's see now I'm gonna push it now is the right way see now everything go the right way and when I push this one is the left side working right side so the right right switch for the right window left switch for the driver window but if it's not programmed it you did not code it it will work differently thank you for watching mobile electronic now you have a couple of lights here this one you can take care of it later or the technician but for programming i believe we're good to go thank no you. mommy that yeah. brake light yeah is it need programming too that this the this thing we like this one is no good maybe i don't know see it comes it up you see yeah. what it do and sometimes mm. it comes out by itself is that is that for this one or for something else yeah that is the same thing oh maybe you have a problem with the the brake warning light finish hold on no i know what you talk about okay this is free now okay let me turn it off Maybe you have parking brake issue. The parking brake is malfunction. Parking brake malfunction. That's why I keep bringing you this code. Let me go to parking brake. Chassis. Integrated chassis tire parking brake. Fall code. Because when I do it, I don't. Parking brake button. Parking parking brake signal error DSC interface signal invalid button parking brake signal error enable line parking brake control unit faulty power supply message error all this code let me clear it you see here now we have this but you have these codes mm -hmm. say button parking brake signal button parking but maybe this is not working good I'm not, sure. it's not good I'm not sure but it, this this thing need more more diagnosis you know like you need to spend some time on it to see what yeah, happened but more. this one here it keeps saying that we have those two codes the button button parking brake signal error button parking brake signal both of them is one mm -hmm. so you may have a problem with 
either the, the, the switch itself or maybe there is something that doesn't work fine. Alright, so I'm gonna check out otherwise. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnosis. Please subscribe, share, and see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Thank you.